guys, it's Miss Ainsley. We are now at the start of our ocean or under the sea week, and we're going to be making a paper bag jellyfish. So for this craft, you will need a paper bag, which was sent to you in the mail, some googly eyes also sent to you, glitter, which is optional, but was sent to you in the mail, a sponge brush, the color paint of your choice, some white glue, and a pair of scissors. So I'm going to start by painting my paper bag. And it doesn't matter which side you paint. You could even paint both sides, but for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be painting one. So. I've already mixed together some paint here and I'm choosing to do green and I'm going to be using a regular paintbrush but for you guys the sponge brush will work very well because you can easily hand over hand use this to dab paint and smooth it. It makes painting easier. Alright, so I'm going to start by painting this bag. And then we're going to have to let it dry before we move to the next phase of our craft. All right, and by the magic of video editing, I have my finished paper bag here, painted green, and it's already dry, so I'm going to show you guys the next step, which is to decorate it with the glitter, if you so choose. So, I'm going to use the white glue, and I'm going to put a swirl of it all over my bag because I want it to be I want my jellyfish to be super sparkly and then I'm just going to use the sponge brush which is washable so you can use it again after you paint to dab the glue all over and then I can sprinkle my glitter and I'm going to choose gold and green to sprinkle on so it matches my color scheme. All right, here goes the gold and this will stick to the glue. All righty, I love that it adds some sparkle. And here comes some green. just shake this off onto our paper towel a little bit. Not a lot should come off because it's stuck on there with the glue. And now we need to wait for our glitter to dry. You could also choose to add some glitter glue if you have that at your house, but I'm not choosing that today. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I will show you how we make the tentacles and how we add our face. All right, hi guys. So. Now that we have painted our jellyfish bag and we've let that dry and then we covered it in glue and sprinkled our glitter on, now you can see it's sparkly, and we let that dry, now it's time to make the jellyfish legs. So for this you'll need a pair of scissors. It can be any type of scissors. I happen to have um, like scrapbooking scissors here which make a little bit of a divot um, so it makes the legs wiggly looking but you can use any kind of scissors that you have. So let's cut to make the legs here. And I'm going to cut till I reach that little crease in the bag here so that it makes legs and like the head area. So about like three quarters of the way up. And we're just going to keep cutting. All right, there we go. And now we have wiggly tentacles.
tentacles for our jellyfish. And you can see some of mine are the brown of the bag, that's fine, because I only chose to paint that one side. If you had painted both sides, all of your legs would be whatever color that you chose. But I kind of like that it's two-toned. All right, so we have our legs cut now. It can swim around. And it's time to put our face on our jellyfish. So we will need the two googly eyes that were sent to you in the mail and just a little bit of school glue. So, okay, we're gonna make a dot for each of the eyes. One, two, and then we need to press our eyes on. One eye goes here. You can practice your counting. One, two, three, four, five. And the other eye. Okay, and then once you let that dry, you'll have your completed jellyfish. And if you wanted, you could even take a Sharpie or something and give him a little mouth or extra details to his face. It's all up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed making this paper bag jellyfish. Uh, definitely a creative, fun craft. And I will see you next time.